Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday after CPI Tuesday. Wow, that was, um, that was some silliness. First five minutes after that number, right? Aussie down to 30, then back up 100 points. Uh, then back lower again, then back higher again. Dollar yen, same thing, everything kind of. Let's have a look at that hourly. I mean, these bars are very hard to trade. And in the end, um, we settled in on the short side. We didn't make a ton of money. Um, in fact, we just did very little. Like, we were just confused by most of this. We made some money at the end of the day being long dollar yen. But um, very, very tricky, that CPI. And I guess Lowe was speaking last night. And Aussie took a little bit of a digger here. But... Uh, Really low on ideas at the open here, um, which is fairly unusual for Privateer. Uh, normally we have a real beat on um, what's going to happen at the open. Pretty low on ideas, so we're going to keep it um, keep it quiet here at the open and just let this thing digest a bit. But let's see, let's go and see what happened. Um, stocks, sort of the same thing. We had um, we had offers at eighty eight. 86.75 the high. That was fucking annoying. Um, we did get short, but just not enough, right? It was just, you know, it was, it was pretty savage, the price action. So we kept it, uh, the amounts incredibly social. Um, I don't even know why we keep the amount social. There's no point in trading unless um, you have enough on to make the correct amount of money. Anyway... Um, I would say like not a very good trading day yesterday. I mean, the P&L was basically flat, um, up tiny, but just the preparation wasn't right and just with no conviction and I don't know. It felt like non-farms, like a squirrely non-farms day. Um, anyway, stocks have settled into lower. We keep trying to sell high ones. Um, you know, we got down to 4104 and then back up to 4050. You had plenty of opportunities to sell. We just squared some shorts here, looking to resell up at 4150 today. We'll feather into some shorts um, going forward. The calendar, uh, the important bits in the calendar today 2.30 Swiss time, 8.30 a.m. New York time, retail sales. Um, that's going to be interesting, I guess. We'll see how the consumer, see how the consumer's doing, and see if there's any any bite from this bark, right? Um, let's see what else is going on in Europe, and we'll take a quick look at the charts. FX calendar. Um, Wednesday. Ah, uh, yes. UK. UK inflation. Um, in one hour and 20 minutes. That's going to be quite interesting. So let's look at... Uh, let's look at Euro Sterling. We talked about lonely bids at uh, 05 yesterday. Um, those got filled, right? This is the CPI uh, 97 given... 40 paid. Uh, even Euro Sterling had a bit of a had a bit of a dandy. Um, we bought low ones yesterday in Euro Sterling, but it really hasn't gone anywhere, right? We're at 17. Uh, we did unload some in the 30s, but then we bought them back sort of cheekily, very you know, at 28, 25. Um, so we're sitting here long um, Euro Sterling. Interesting yesterday, so we were like, well, it's time to buy Euro Sterling. Those 8805s are very lonely, and, and uh, Euro Sterling's not really going to be in play because of CPI. As a classic, um, just be patient, right? Those 8805s, if you started buying at 8805, you took no pain, you had 40, bit, 40, 
40, 50 points of profit to play around with. Um, imagine if we had started buying at 88.05 instead of at 88.30 yesterday. <clears throat> Our average would be 87.50 if we were long um, instead of 88.12. Um, just patience is, you know, and sometimes you just have to just sit and wait and look, wait for clarity. Uh, and we did a poor job of that yesterday. But anyway, this is um, UK, UK inflation numbers are coming up an hour and 20 minutes. Here's the dailies, a lot of red days, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven red days. Um, I can tell you that that 97 print didn't really print, right? Um, that was like nobody got given down there. Just like the 39 print uh, didn't really print either. Or what is it? Yeah, 39 print after CPI didn't really print either. Um, so the, let's call the low of the figure and the high 35. Uh, if you believe this is going to turn and, and you think this is going to be data driven, which, you know, that's what we're, that's what we're thinking here. It's going to have to be data driven. CPI, they're expecting 10.3%, which is lower than the previous 10.5. Core at 6.2. Fuck. UK is fucked. 10% uh, inflation. Jesus. This is also, you know, one of the reasons inflation is so high is fucking cable is, you know, 121. Imagine you got to buy oil in dollars and your currency is just on its knees. A uh, bunch of dumbasses. Uh, in the UK government, sorry. Uh, previous to this guy, Sunak, he seems to be a little bit better. But um, cable also just tricky, right? There was some wage inflation yesterday. Uh, that kept sterling um, pretty bullish, right? So average hourly earnings, average earnings index was out yesterday. Unemployment was out 3.7%. These are, you know, the unemployment is historically low. So people are worried about wage inflation. Um, so if this inflation comes in hot, sterling can run. The pivot yesterday, which is almost perfect, right? This double bottom down here and this pivot right up here, 122.75. So today is just really a momentum type of day, right? Um, you certainly don't want to have an entry at 122.75 at the moment. But um, you just got to see these numbers and then run with the wave. Uh, should be pretty volatile. You know, we're just thinking out loud. <laughs> Um, you know, we'll have some entries probably in Euro Sterling uh, up above 35. So if we see, we'll have to lighten this thing up going into the numbers, and we see price action up above 35, which is confirmed lower inflation. Um, this will give us more conviction on a Euro Sterling turn. If this thing comes in hot and Euro Sterling uh, heads down, the next support is until 87.50. Um, so, you know, you don't want, you don't want to have a packet of, of, of cable on going into these inflation numbers. These are the key numbers in every country now. So just be careful. Um, UK numbers coming out in one hour and 15 minutes. What else is out there? Our old friend Euro Swiss. She held down there at 50. God knows why, but she did. Pretty bullish day yesterday. Um, is this turning? Here's our 200 day. I need my glasses. Anyway, this is the 200 day. We're, we're, we're playing around with him. Dollar Swiss uh, also held after some hectic. Uh, you know, this is sort of like dollar yen light. Dollar Swiss held 91.30. Why are we pulling this chart up? Because 92.90 this week uh, could trade if if rates stay higher. This is just a key level. You just have to be aware of it to watch it. Just like yesterday, uh, there was money to be made at 132.90, that triple top. You just, you know, 
even if you're just doing it for a trade, you know there's going to be buying there. And, and that's one of the keys in FX. When you know there's going to be buying or selling, it certainly does help. Um, so one, uh, dollar Swiss 92.90 is a key moment. Let's look at gold. We talked about gold getting smoked uh, through 50. Went down to 43, so it wasn't really, a, I wouldn't call it a smoke show, but um, gold looks weak still. Getting a little stretched now, like, can you can you try and look to buy some gold somewhere here? Maybe 1,800. Uh, no real idea in gold. But as you can see, no real strong ideas this morning. We're going to focus on these uh, UK numbers. This is a nice... Medium term pivot here, 108 in euro dollar. PPI on Thursday, if that comes in light, this could turn. Um, comes in heavy, this could just keep going lower again. Again, it's very much data dependent these days. Take a quick look at rates. This is probably what we should have traded yesterday and just fished for low ones because it looked like uh, 362 it was given. That was the trade yesterday. We we just had our head so deeply up our own asses. Uh, crazy. Um, anyway, we're you know we're three seventy four. This is bullish dollar territory. It's not wildly bullish now because we were at three eighty yesterday. This was this was your signal to buy dollar yen. We were up at three eighty and dollar yen was at seventy five um, at five o'clock. This is probably going to get up to 390, and then we're just going to have to see. You're going to have a triple top up there. Um, again, not really sure what to do with all of this. So um, we're going to wait and see these sterling numbers. We're probably, you know, going to be keeping it light because of, you know, this kind of volatility on these inflation numbers. And then we head into retail sales. Maybe there'll be some setups there, but. Um, very low on ideas. I don't even know why I'm still talking on this thing. Um, anyway, good luck out there, people. I will catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.